Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. We're back here in the garage. You know, they say you can't have enough clamps, which is true, actually. Um, I have made projects where I've used nearly every clamp that I own, and I needed more. However, what people don't talk about is having enough clamp storage. Right now, I have zero clamp storage. Generally speaking, these clamps are at the edge of my workbench here. They're laying up against the wall. They're propped up against the, uh, the refrigerator, which is over there. It's not an optimal solution. So I did purchase the Woodpecker's Clamp Organizer Solution, and I would like to unbox it, assemble it for you, and then um, do a quick, uh, you know, I don't call it a review, but give you my thoughts of the product and what I think of it. All right, let's clear this mess away and then, I don't know, open the box. <laughs> Here it is. This is the box. <sighs> Let me. All right, what do we have? We have the Woodpecker's Clamp Racket System. Now, I got the 16 inch, hopefully it'll fit on the walls. Actually, I'm gonna put it over there. Uh, 43 clamps and 16 inches of wall space is what it says. I got uh, three large arms, two small arms. There was very little information on their website about what that really meant, how many big, how many small. So, you know, I, I can order more if I want to, I suppose. Let's figure out how to open this guy up. Okay, first thing to know, not light. <laughs> okay, clearly, clearly the arms. Okay. What appears to be <laughs> the owner's manual. I wouldn't characterize it as a manual. I'm not saying it's not useful or complete. What I'm saying is it is a piece of paper. <laughs> okay, well, initial impressions. Um, it was packed very well. Uh, these arms are not to be trifled with. This is an eighth of an inch, at least, of steel. I'm guessing we go like this. Oh, I see you're supposed to put them together like this. You pair them like this. The owner's manual, very useful. <laughs> okay, stand by.
All right, well, that was the build. That was actually pretty easy. I'm a little surprised about how easy it was. I don't know why, but I am. So you can see that I have uh, two left over because of the way I configured the clamps. I think in hindsight, I might be able to push them a little bit closer together, but I don't think that's gonna create enough space for to attach these, and I suppose that's okay. I think that another one of these systems so that I could keep all the same size clamps in you know one row so I'm not uh, you know shuffling the the big clamps to the back or the short clamps to the front or whatever the intention was to put all the uh, six inch clamps on one and then all the rest of the bar clamps on another the uh, kind of parallel clamps on the other two didn't quite work out that way due to space reasons that's okay so my initial thoughts it is well constructed. Uh, it is solid. It is steel. It's it is powder coated steel. The powder coating actually caused some of the holes to be a little bit too small, and whenever I was putting the the arms on, it did knock the powder coating off of at least one or two of them. So that's just something to you know be cautious about or be look out for. For the price of the product, <laughs> I would have expected the holes for the arms to be tapped. I don't know why, but I would expect that. The self-tapping screws were fine and the use of the ratchet worked out just fine. Uh, I can't imagine how hard it would be to do with a screwdriver, given that it's a flat blade, not a, you know, not a hex bit or a Phillips. I gotta believe it would be nearly impossible to get those screws threaded straight and into that powder coated hole with just a regular screwdriver. So definitely recommend using the nut driver here. Use the impact driver to put the lag nuts in. Uh, that worked out very well. And then the screwdriver to pop in the, the screws for the arms and everything worked out. I think it looks pretty darn good and hopefully it'll be functional. Uh, I don't really want it where it is right now, right next to the refrigerator, because you saw the you know, the door, me checking to make sure the door could open. I actually wanted it over here. There's really no space for it there. And I do have plans to redo this maybe with some wall control or something. So maybe it'll go there and then someday I won't have another refrigerator in my workspace, but that is what it is. All right, <clears throat> thank you for making it this far. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but leave your comments down below for why you might not like the video, and we'll try and make the next one better. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. Check me out on Instagram, that's where I post a lot of my daily updates, and don't forget to be inspired. I'm literally sweating. Alright. Um, use the impact driver to put the lag nodes in. Uh, <clears throat>